Hey, gang, this is Andy over at Facebook Live TV Show. I'm, I'm messing with my app TV here uh, for a reason because uh, we're going to be talking about an app that you can get on not only Apple TV, but you can get it, uh, get your TV show on an app on Roku, smart TVs, all over the place, 50 different channels you're going to be able to get your, uh, your uh, TV show on. And we're going to bring up the founder of this great uh, uh, network right here, the Binge Network. Uh, she's created something I think that you're all going to be interested, especially if you're watching this show, the, the Facebook Live TV show, because if you're here, you're thinking about creating your own TV show if you have not created one already. So I'm going to go ahead and bring on Bonnie right now. And uh, she's in Florida, and it is, uh, I guess, smoking hot over there. How are you doing, uh, uh, Bonnie? I said, Did I say Barbara? No, nope, but that was okay, Bonnie. Name. No, I, I Bonnie. said Barbara the other day. I don't know. I have that in my noggin for some reason. So, Bonnie, how are you? I am great. Thank you so much. Where at in Florida are you? I am in Miami in Brickell. And uh, just we relocated our headquarters here from New York about six months ago. And it turns out it's quite the tech hotspot. So, um, we have offices here at WeWork in City Center, and yeah, we're just, smo it is a smoking hot, well, it's not hot compared to how it's going to get, but it's a pretty warm day. I've been literally running around, so. Uh, yeah, awesome. Um, so we're going to be talking about your app here in just a minute, but what I want to do first is find out who you are. Who's Bonnie? And uh, how do you say your last name? Bruder. Oh, I didn't want to, what was it? Bruderer. Oh, that, see, I shouldn't, I knew that I shouldn't have tried to tackle that. I should have asked you before we went live, but I still wouldn't have been able to say it. I can tell you that. Um, so tell, tell us a little bit about Bonnie and, uh, and who you are, where you're from, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So goodness, I am a moving target. As my dad says, he, he every time he calls, he goes, where in the world are you, babe? Um, <laughs> but I grew up in California and I lived all over the world. I had a very interesting career. I'm told I toured with famous motivational speakers for almost 20 years. So I worked with Tony Robbins, um, on tour with him. I worked with Harvey McKay, Alex Mendozian, and many others. And then about five years ago, I uh, decided to stop touring and I moved to New York City from California to start a television talk show. And that's what I did. Turns out when I got to New York, 800 and something thousand other people always move there every single year to do the same thing. Um, but I was fortunately successful. And that's really how my media company got started. And so now I, um, I live in Miami. This is where our headquarters are. Um, I'm a kickboxer. I get up at 5.30 most mornings and I kickbox and I am a fanatical dog lover. Um, if I'm not at kickboxing gym, I'm at the dog park and yeah, I just work doing my media company and, you know, helping people get their word out on binge. All right. Well, when uh, you're that busy, how do you start to uh, think about having a, uh, a company called binge and creating a whole network and everything that you've been able to create with this app? So for us, it was really um, two things. Number one, it was a necessity to continue to evolve as media evolved. So I started in New York City, as I said. I was a talk show host um, on a show that I created and that was picked up um, on a network called MN Network, which is a local cable channel in New York City. And we did that, and that was fantastic, and it was a really fun goal. Um, we air Monday nights at 8 o'clock to 2.5 million homes. And the thing that we learned very quickly is that so what? Nobody watches cable. <laughs> so yeah. although we had this great um, success with the show, not a lot of people were watching it. And at the same time, all of these digital companies like Apple TV, um, Roku, you know, Amazon Fire were coming onto the scene fast and hard. And so I took a look at that. And prior to the personal development world, I worked for a number of different technology companies like City Search, um, Active Networks, NBC Internet. So I knew a little bit about emerging media and really decided to you know, take a risk and evolve as media was evolving and go headfirst into what's called the OTT or the connected device market. So that's what we did. We continued to produce TV shows um, while we were distributing them on these channels like Apple TV and Roku and Amazon and so forth. Mm -hmm. And over the years, we produced 700 television episodes. Um, the majority of those were on my talk show. And one thing that really struck me is the majority of people that came through and were guests on the show expressed wanting their own TV show. Right. So I really wanted to find a way to make that happen. I kind of felt like, you know, I'd been there and done that. I'd been in the limelight. And now it was time to turn the reins over and figure out a way to allow people to have their own show and to get that out to the world. So that's how Binge um, started. It was, you know, a multi-year, multi-team, you know, many people played a hand in it and a very evolving process. 
Um, but where we are today is we have our own platform, um, just like Netflix or Hulu, same technology, or YouTube, where people can have a channel. And then what's different about us is we syndicate it on 50 different television networks. So we're showing a little bit of a screenshot of, uh, of the app on my computer. Yes. Uh, and you can see the different artworks that people have. And each person who has a show has their own uh, artwork that they click on and then takes them to the episodes. Is that right? Exactly right. So on, from BingeNetworks.tv, it operates just like YouTube would, where everybody has their own channel. They have their brand, their look and feel. They can upload as much content as they like whenever they like. Um, where we get different and where it gets exciting is that the moment you upload a video to our platform, it gets syndicated out to all of the other channels. So not only are you on a social media like a YouTube or a Facebook, you are all of a sudden in these you know, outlets like Sony, like Apple, um, which really takes it to a different level and helps you get in front of so many more eyeballs. So as you can see there, I went ahead and joined and I have my own show on Binge TV. So currently I'm on 50 different platforms, correct? Or what do you call them networks? Um, what, what's, what's the name you use? You know, you can call them either. We, the way that we work, we work directly with what's called the set top box or the smart TV. So behind you, I know you have Apple TV pulled up and that's how people can find their content on binge. Um, or if you have a smart TV, like a Sony and LG or TiVo, anything like that, you simply go to the app store and type in binge networks. So the terms are kind of interchangeable. Um, but that's our strategy is we built out the binge app on all 50 of those television outlets. Okay. I'll bring that up and back up in just a few minutes just to show people how it works. But I wanted to, to reach out to all the people that are um, a part of any of the platforms that uh, we're currently broadcasting to because we broadcast to about eight different uh, platforms. Uh, and almost all of them, uh, I'm speaking to experts and entrepreneurs who are trying to get you know, more well known to create a, a larger uh, presence of their expertise and their authority. Um, and uh, over the years, I also belong to a group where we've created almost uh, a, a thousand number one best selling authors who, after you become a best selling author, of course, you need to do something with that, right? You're either going to begin yes. to speak on stage, you're going to uh, do other things. And one of those things you might want to do is create your own TV show behind the name of your book, of your best selling book. And this, I think, is a great platform for them to come on to. Do you have people that have used that strategy? We do actually last night. It's so interesting that you use that as an example. We had one of our channel partners that did a um, the 30 minute training for us and the training was all on his book. Um, I believe it's called the naked truth or something to that effect. And basically, you know, to your point, it's a great platform to be able to create content. Maybe you do, you know, a, a video a week on a chapter and you let people know, you know, a teaching or a nugget or some sort of, you know, piece of wisdom from your book. But yeah, absolutely. This is a great way. The, the best way to look at binge is we're just really accelerating what you're already doing. So if you're creating content on Facebook live, if you're creating YouTube content, you want to use us as kind of your rocket fuel to get it out into to more audiences. Mm -hmm. And one thing, you know, we're coming to you live on many social platforms, so there's definitely a place for that. However, I'm sure we can all agree that it's very oversaturated. You know, I know when I go onto my YouTube feed, there's like 20 people live and I, I have maybe five minutes, I don't know what to listen to. So what we're doing is instead of competing with all of that noise, we're putting you in these audiences where there are tens of millions of subscribers, if not hundreds of millions of subscribers in some cases, so that you can reach new audiences as well. Okay. So um, I, I guess the next question that I have to ask is if uh, there's YouTube and Vimeo and Daily Motion and what all these other channels, why, why does there need to be a, oops, <laughs> why does there need to be uh, a binge network on, a, on the Apple or the Roku and all that kind of stuff? What, what's different about being on your platform? It's really the access into the connected device market. So all of those channels that you mentioned are great, and we actually use all of them with the exception of Vimeo. We use that for our movie, but um, for, mm -hmm. for our purposes, you know, we use YouTube, we use Dailymotion as distribution channels. However, again, these, there are these networks of channels that people aren't aware that have so many people watching them and looking for content. And even as you pulled up the Apple TV behind you, well, now we're at the beach, which is really cool. Oh, um, sorry. But <laughs> as you, when you pulled up the Apple TV, you can see there's not a ton of channels. You know, you scroll through and I've seen data 
that shows, you know, there's maybe 10 or 15 channels that people watch on a regular basis. So to be able to be shoulder to shoulder with these apps and in these places is really important. And it only becomes more important as time goes on. Um, Roku just surpassed Google as the number one video consumption site in the world. I, I heard you say that the other day on another yeah. show. I decided to interview you and I was I was rocked by that, yeah. actually. <laughs> I mean, Google, like we all know what that is, but people are watching video on Roku. Um, and so these networks are growing and expanding day by day. And so we're early in, we're kind of on the ground floor. And as they're yeah. getting bigger and bigger, it just benefits the content creators that are on bench. So yeah. it's just a different strategy. Um, I, again, it's not a instead of, it's an addition to what you're already doing and a way to really yeah. accelerate uh, your reach. I belong, I belong to a, a friend of mine, uh, Mike Koenigs, down in San Diego. He and I uh, do a little bit of business together. I, he was my mentor for a while. Uh, Pam Hendrickson. I'm not sure if you know who Pam Hendrickson and Chris I, Hendrickson are. I know both of them. I love Mike Koenigs. And I yeah. love Pam, too. But I, yeah. I've known Michael forever. Yeah. So his, his uh, company name is You Everywhere Now. And that's yeah. really what you're speaking to is that just be on everything now uh, because that's where you need to be everywhere uh, so that people can find you because your audience may not be a Facebook person or your, your audience may not be LinkedIn or YouTube. Uh, they may be something else. They could be total binge watchers on uh, the app on your whatever TV they're using. 100%. And again, you know, it's utilizing these networks that aren't being tapped into. Um, one of our larger distributors is Kachang Media out of China, which nobody has probably ever heard of, unless you're in China. They have 100 million <laughs> subscribers. And just to take a, you know, comparison, Apple, I believe, is 12, between 12 and 15. I haven't looked lately. Um, but they're almost 10x, you know. And so, again, we're using these networks where there's so many people watching content and we're putting you in front of them so that you can achieve your marketing goals, whether that's to sell books, gain coaching clients, fill seminars, whatever it is. Awesome. So we're going to show some other ways of bringing a video to binge, not some other ways. We're going to show how you can repurpose videos you're making in other locations and bring them into binge. But binge. But I have a question here that came up from uh, Jen Nelson, uh, who says, I'll bring it up here on the screen um, as a video creator. Um, Sorry, I lost my place here. As a video creator, I have been on other OTT platforms and was very disappointed on their ability to give me highly granulated analytics on viewership, et cetera. How does Binge TV give high value analytics to their clients? Yes, great question, Jen. Um, and unfortunately, that's really the state of the OTT industry. They're very um, sparse, the ones that do give you back analytics and data. Right now, the way that we're reporting our data is we have a media kit on Binge Networks TV. It's up on the right corner. Um, it has our current metrics and reach. And we are only able to include probably six or seven of our 50 media outlets because they don't report back current data. So what we're doing right now is we're giving that data, of course, and that's a combination of social media platforms, closed circuit programming throughout the U.S., um, the Apple's, Roku's, Footprint TV that do report back. And then starting in Q3 or Q4, we will also be able to provide individual data to your binge channel. Now, keeping in mind, that's only one of the 50 outlets, but that is something that is in the works um, from a technology standpoint. And as the industry is increasing, we're constantly evolving with that, but they are notoriously bad for reporting back data. I have to agree. Okay. Awesome. Good answer to that question. I'm going to show uh, the audience one more time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, my, <clears throat> wow, that's really strange. Uh, one more thing here. Uh, and that is uh, what I've done right now for um, all intents and purposes is I've repurposed my Facebook live. So down here in my episode, you'll see that all these videos that are down here. Oops. Am I showing the right screen? I'm probably not. Oh, yeah, 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 you got it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> these are all Facebook lives that I shot, obviously, in Facebook, uh, on my uh, Facebook page called Falco Canine Academy. And uh, I picked selected uh, Facebook lives that I've done that fit into what it is I want to talk about. And that's how you can transfer, uh, transform the human dog relationship. And that's kind of what I've started with this particular show. This, this may change. Uh, this may do um, other things as I begin to get better at understanding that I need not to date my material because sometimes I say, hey, it's Tuesday and it's you know August and stuff like that. You want to be very careful about doing that if you're going to repurpose them where they're going to be somewhere for a long period of time. So that's something that I'm learning. Um, but repurposing your content is going to be a really important thing to, for you to consider so that you only have to shoot something once uh, and put it into the binge platform. So I'm going to bring on a, another guest here uh, and it's Hani. Hanimura is a, the creator of Repurpose.io. 
Hello, honey. How are you? you guys, I'm great. How are you? Uh, I'm outstanding. This is a great topic. It's so important to me because, again, the Facebook Live TV show is showing people how to create a, a TV show. And for Binge to come out at this time after I've met you and use uh, uh, repurpose.io for so many places that I put my video, to have one more place for it to go is going to be fantastic. So what do you think about what Bonnie's created here? How does that work into your uh, platform? Oh, it's awesome. It's basically... it's taking it to a whole new dimension. So it's taking repurposing content, repurposing does it for you to YouTube, Facebook, your know, audio to video, it helps you get the content onto the common social media platforms and then getting it onto the binge network, binge channel just takes it a whole step further to a whole new audience. People who may not even hang out or watch videos online, but they're watching them on their connected devices. And yep. the integration right now is um, we're working on improving it. We had a really exciting meeting this morning. Um, but right now, you can take content from Repurpose, have it automatically go to your Dropbox, and then right, which Dropbox can sync to your computer, of course. And then you can just drag and drop one file to the bin, your binge channel, and then you know Bonnie's software and service takes care of, takes care of all the rest of the distribution for you. And her great assistant that she has working for is fantastic. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> Laura we have a gotta give her. Got to give her a shout out because she uh, had to handle some of my emails because I, I got a little uh, uh, lost and then it was like right in front of my face. That happens a lot. Uh, my mom uh, used to make fun of me because I'd go get the ketchup in the refrigerator and it's, it was right there in front of my face and I couldn't find it. So um, uh, thank God for people like Laura, uh, Laura who uh, can help people like me. Um, so back to uh, this marriage that we're, we're, uh, we're seeing. Um, yeah, well, Hani's already married, but you know what I mean. Marriage <laughs> to uh, uh, the platforms <laughs> uh, is uh, I've, I've seen it work because it was, you know, on Friday I, I joined a binge. <clears throat> the weekend came, we both all, uh, I got busy. And then uh, Monday I get a great email from Laura and says, your channel is set up. And uh, I said, great. And I just went to my Dropbox where my Facebook lives have automatically because of repurpose.io have gone into my Dropbox out of all the videos. I selected the ones that I want. Right. And, and then I just uploaded them to binge and created the titles, created the description. And uh, there was one more step there. I forget what it is. Is it tags? Or, oh no, you select what category, select what category that you want it to go in. And so, and hit the, bu the button and it all happened. The next thing I know, I get an email from Laura saying your channel's live and there they are, just as you see it. Those are all my episodes that I uploaded. Everything just happened yesterday, right? And that's how quickly, and that's uh, five episodes I think that I have up there. <clears throat> and, uh, and now I have a better idea when I do my Falco Canaan Academy Facebook lives where I can now do them differently because now I know what platforms they're going to go into and how they'll um, be viewed better based on what I'm saying. It's that easy. Did, did I miss anything? <laughs> no, it's really interesting. So when I, you know, started binge, we, we prior to the show, we were having a little bit of a chat and you asked how we started and it's definitely has been an evolution. And we used to say that we were automating, you know, your video to 50 places, but behind the scenes, we had a team of about eight that took the video and literally uploaded it 50 places and it's such a time waster. Like you literally, you know, you can do a Facebook live and if you're anything like me and I'm pretty tech savvy, I can lose four hours because I have to download it. Then I, oh, they changed the algorithm. So I have to watch a YouTube video on how to download it. And then I get it somewhere. Oh, I need to put a music to it. You know, it, literally four hours go by and I still can't get the darn thing to, onto my YouTube or wherever I'm taking it. And so that's why we're so excited with Hani's technology is it literally... And I was, I'm a skeptic. I was like, oh, okay, we'll see, you know? And then yesterday I used it and I published to my YouTube channel and I turn around and the next thing you know, there's 60 videos on there. I, I thought it was only going to take a couple. I was like, damn, that's good. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're always looking at ways to improve and, and to automate and to make people's lives easier because it's hard to create content and it's expensive and it's time yep. consuming. And we just want it to be like push button or to um, to get your content where it needs to go, and then we'll push it out even further. You know, I I, um, I do a lot of different Facebook lives on different subjects, and yesterday was on LinkedIn, uh, and it almost seems even if I'm talking about LinkedIn, somehow uh, Hani's uh, product get uh, Hani's name and his product gets brought up because I say, you know, you can repurpose your stuff, and of course, th what a great name for a company that you got repurpose and yeah. Hani like this should be my middle yeah. name or something. <laughs> I should change because my name. The lingo in the business, right? That you're gonna you know repurpose this and that and the other thing, and then I always think about Hani because yeah. it never fails. So it's like uh, it's like Kleenex now already to me. Um, I'm gonna put. Put uh, Hani's thing in here, and I don't have a. 
um, and this is if you want to get Hani's thing, <laughs> his URL for getting uh, uh, the product. I put it in the comment section, so get on there. And uh, what's the best URL that I should get for Binge for people to uh, find out about Binge? Send them to bingechannels.com and then we'll get you an affiliate link um, after the call. I'll send that over to you. And yeah, I mean, just a, it's super simple, guys. Like if you have a channel on Binge, just like we're showing you here, um, you can use Honey's technology. It's a separate, like one extra step, but you basically use that. And then if you have a podcast, if you're doing a Facebook Live, you do a YouTube video, it can automatically take that, format it for binge. And right now you just then have to upload it to your channel, but we're actually even talking about ways to automate that. So I imagine in the next 30 days, if it is possible, we'll have it automated. So Again, you spend, you know, 30 minutes doing a Facebook Live and the next thing you know, that can appear in 50, at least 50, but I know with Repurpose even more and with what you're doing even more. So um, it's pretty incredible and it's really exciting to, you know, to meet people actually like both of you because Hani created the tool to allow this to happen, but you're the perfect example of being out there and, and doing the live. So it's really exciting. We're we're very happy for this partnership. Yeah, I, I would like to uh, to uh, to put out there uh, for uh, for you to think about. I don't know if you have somebody else doing this, but I would love to create some videos on teaching people or showing people how easy it is, and some tutorials to show yes. them just how simple it is to use Binge and some of the things they consider uh, should consider we'll when creating it. a channel. <laughs> All right. um, awesome. Uh, the um, the, uh, the the shows that you see on Facebook, but maybe on some of the shows you see in Binge, are there some tips that you, uh, whether it's uh, uh, you, Bonnie, or Hani, that you want to give people as to things they really need to pay attention to when they're creating their shows? Is there something that jumps out at you that, whether it's the artwork that, that like mine, <laughs> that I already need to fix because what I, I just, I, you know, because I just want to make it stand out a little bit more, um, it, whether it's the artwork or actually the show themselves? Can we start talking just a couple of those things that people need to? to consider really quick. Yeah. yeah um, a couple right off the bat. I mean, number one, audio and lighting is critically important, whatever you're doing. Sometimes people think just because it's Facebook live that they can just, you know, be in their car and turn it on. And it, people are picky and they want good value content. They want your content to be valuable, but they also want good production value. So as you can see right now, I'm coming to you from our set, but just to tell myself, this is wallpaper that I got at Home Depot. That's wallpaper? Yeah, it's wallpaper. This is an orchid <laughs> I got at the farmer's market and that's our set. And I'm using a halo light that's $120 on Amazon that's holding yep. my iPhone, which has a great camera and great audio. So it doesn't have to be expensive to do great video, but you want to make sure that you are properly lit. You do have good sound and, you know, that we were similar sizes. Like all three of us are a very similar size. There's nothing worse than like a big head on Facebook <laughs> and a little, per you know, a midget person. Um, so you, you just want to make sure that you're um, putting thought into to what you're creating as well as the content of what you're saying. Right. Uh, the one thing that be, I only probably asked something, but uh, the sound that you mentioned is so important. Sound almost is more important than the video itself. If, you, yes. if they can't hear you and you sound squeaky or at a, at a, at a distance and people can't hear you because of that, right, uh, then they're going to turn off. So you want to make sure that your sound is, uh, is good. Honey, did you have something to add? No, I mean, just, you know, content obviously is important, but lighting audio, like you said, it's, you got, you got to be able to see the person, hear the person clearly, and then of course, deliver great content. And I think Bonnie and I talked about this before, you have to keep your content relevant to what you promise to deliver, like whatever your title of your show is, focus on delivering that content, um, answering that question, stick to the topic, don't try to, don't do one of these while you're, uh, doing a show, you know, pick one topic per show and, you know, people get, you know, they feel good that they, they listen to something, they dedicate their time and they got what they want from it. Yeah. That's one thing I learned uh, early on is that, um, I would uh, title my Facebook live something and then somebody would send a comment in and I would completely get derailed mm -hmm. and then talk about something else. And then maybe an hour later, get to the topic of the uh, <laughs> of whatever it is I title it. So um, I've been much stronger at uh, sticking to the title. If I do have a question that goes off topic, I say I'll answer at the end and I move it towards the end. Yeah. Or I say I'll write it down and I'll create another Facebook Live about that particular topic. So uh, as you're creating those, that was a great, great point that you want to make sure and stay on topic and not go too far off every so often. Sometimes for me, it's just that's kind of what I do and people kind of got used <laughs> to it. But um, I'm much, much better than I used to be. 
Um, what about um, uh, practice? Do you see people that maybe if they just spend a little bit more time just practicing, uh, you know, I, I always suggest do a Facebook live to nobody, you know, keep it private, you know, just mm -hmm. click the private and do it. Just get used to talking to the camera. Uh, I'm operating, you know, four or five different things here while I'm talking. So in the beginning, don't try to go high tech. What Bonnie said about just getting an iPhone and a, and a microphone and doing that. That's the best uh, thing. Do you see people trying to do too much too soon or uh, not uh, really prepared to do their show? Yeah, I, I mean, you nailed it. Just do with what you're comfortable with and you have to work whatever happens into the content. So for example, again, I'll tell it myself, um, Instagram live video was like the one frontier I could not understand. I kept calling our producer, trainer, the person that trains um, when we do production training. So I was like, what? I don't understand. So then a few times, you know, they have to have the camera up versus this way. And I just had to work that into what I was doing. So when that happened and I didn't have the camera the right way, we just made it a little boomerang and we made it a little fun and we, you know, played and laughed at ourselves. Um, so just making sure that number one, you are practicing, you are comfortable with the technology. And then when things do happen as they will be able to roll with it, you know, have a good time with it, make it part of what you're doing. Um, but yeah, you know, you don't want to waste somebody's time. You want to make sure that if you don't know what you're doing and you're on there, it just like, you know, have your grandma practice with you, have your cousin, whoever can do it, but you want to make sure you know what you're doing. Cause it's, you know, people see this. We don't think that they do. Cause we're like, Oh, there was just one person on, but that lives on forever. Mm -hmm. So yep. always putting your face out there, um, and matching your brand. You want to make sure that, you know, what you're doing, like I didn't, I didn't come on here, you know, in sweats and a baseball cap, which, you know, could happen one day, but like, I want to make sure that I'm representing my brand and looking and feeling the way that I would want somebody that is a client to, you know, perceive me. So make sure that all those things are taken into account. Yep. Honey, any tips on that? On preparation? Have you, uh, I mean, you're more the technological guy, right? Yeah, but I stumble too. <laughs> like I'm the technical guy, but you know, when I first got started with live, I was trying different softwares and tools and you know something new would come out i'll try it out don't do that don't try something new for the first time live obviously try it out like bonnie said practice with it first but my my motto with everything is keep it simple if you have a tool that works there might be another new tool that comes out that may sound better but if you're comfortable with that tool you have comfortable with your setup just keep doing what you're doing because at the end of the day no one knows what tool you use but everyone's going to see the experience and, and the content you deliver. So focus on, keep using what you're using, what work, what you're comfortable with, and just focus on the content. Yep. When it, when it comes to the tools, if you just kind of scroll down in the Facebook Live TV show, you'll see that I've used things from Blue Jeans to Zoom, Webinar Jam, Kajabi. Um, I've used them all. And I've used them all because I want to find out what works, what doesn't work, what's difficult, what's easy, what uh, what people that are just getting into the into the into the business, I guess is the, the best way to put it, what they need and what they don't need. And so you you may want to go down and scroll through some of the videos. What I'm settling on right now, just so you know, is BeLive uh, TV is what we're using now, which where I I can bring up the comments and that kind of stuff. I do like Ecamm and I've used that a couple of times, but right now be live for me just is they're, they're a really cool company and the quality has gotten to be really good. So it, when we're talking about repurposing using repurpose.io into the Dropbox and then up the binge, the, the quality is important. And, and so that's why right now I like be live.tv. Um, and, uh, and, you know, on, on occasion I'll use webinar jam and that's a whole nother story that I probably shouldn't even bring up because it's, un it's, it's kind of different. Uh, but right now believe be live TV things I needed to figure out there. It's fantastic. Uh, I have had companies that I've shared with you that I cannot stand, uh, because of their customer service. And, uh, you, it's, that's not what you got with these two folks here. I, I have, I've not heard a complaint yet from anybody. So it's been good. Thank you for saying that. And it's funny, I do want to just add, when we were designing the company, that was really something that we took um, into effect. Like we actually had strategy meetings about things we hate. <laughs> and we talked about <laughs> things like, what don't you like? We didn't like contracts. I hate it when you, you know, you sign up for a new phone and then like 17 years later, you can't cancel and you owe them a billion dollars. And like all of these things. And we tried to, or we didn't try, we consciously designed the company that way. And it's really funny. We're leaving for the new media summit. Um, tomorrow at 4 30 in the morning but 
Um, super excited for that. And our publicity team that works at events, they're amazing too, you'll find. And it's really funny because the last event, I was standing back and I was just watching the girls, you know, talk to people about bringing on channels. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're better than I am. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that that's like one of our biggest assets at Binge. We really take a conscious effort to make people's experience great. We want them to have a good experience, whether you meet us at a trade show or you learn about us um, on live or, you know, Laura, Laura's always like, don't worry, I got it, I got it. You know, and then I see these new channels that come on that I've never seen before. I'm like, what is happening? Um, awesome. But it's great to hear that that's working because we want yeah. content creators to be creating content. We don't want them on hold or worrying about their video not uploading or things like that. They should be out making great content. Yeah, yeah, your platform's easy, and uh, the people behind it are very helpful. Uh, Hani, how, what's your philosophy on your uh, customer service and just being there for people? Yeah, um, I make myself available. People, I actually put my phone number on my website, and people are shocked when they call the number and they're like, "Oh, is this Hani?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, oh, I'm talking to Hani. I, I feel like being transparent, like you know, like Bonnie said, like we people work with people. There's real people that built the software. People who create used to create content or are living around podcasters and live streamers so they know the pain points. And, you know, we, especially myself, I love connecting with people. So when people call me or email me, I've had people message me on Facebook if they have an issue. I, you know, it's nothing that really scales very well, but I feel like, I feel it's kind of been our biggest asset is I've always been, you know, I, I go to the podcasting conference, the biggest one uh, podcast movement every year. I feel like I've made friends, you know, not customers. So I mean, we have that philosophy where everyone's a friend and um, we're all here to help each other. We have a Facebook group uh, for each of the products so that, you know, people can help each other. But, you know, I always try to make myself available as much as I can because I feel like, you know, if you believe in the product, which I do, I created this product to help content creators that you know, I shouldn't be available to answer questions. I'm not the only one. We have a support team, of course, but um, it's just, I believe in making sure that, I hate when people get stuck is what I'm going to say. <laughs> when people yeah. get stuck on something where yeah. they don't something silly that they don't have to, and they're wasting, they're spinning their wheels. It, it, it hurts me. <laughs> so I want to kind of get them unstuck so they can keep going with creating more content. Yeah. Jen uh, Nelson says, I don't know Bonnie yet, yet. Uh, but uh, Hani is amazing. A repurpose ha uh, IO has great customer service. They do. And, uh, and, and it sounds like a, uh, 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 Hanny, I know I always say Hanny, so I apologize. Uh, but uh, Hanny, um, uh, you know, I, I talk about my friendship with you, and I think you and I have maybe talked five times. But yeah. uh, I, it's it's the uh, it's the connection, like it's right away, right? It's uh, it's there's something about you and your personality and your customer service that makes me feel like you're a friend. And uh, I just uh, that's the way I want to do business. People that I would wouldn't mind going having a beer with or a, a sandwich somewhere, whatever uh, it is, uh, I could spend some time with you, and that's how that's the feeling I get. Yeah, I love that. I, I I love that that I can connect with customers. I I don't like that word customers. I call I, yeah. I call everybody friends. Like I, I felt like I felt like I was Bonnie online. too, and I, I just met Bonnie for the first time before we went live. <laughs> Other than yeah, a couple it's so funny. Goes, oh, I invited Hani on. Is that okay? Of course. Okay. <laughs> it's a party. Yeah, of course exactly. <laughs> Um, okay, let's get away from the, the love fest for a second here because I just want to go back to one more point before we get out, and that is. Um, that the uh, the exponential growth that occurs with consistency and, and, and continuing the path, I just want to make sure and share that uh, if you're thinking about doing your show, that you may not get anybody watching uh, in the beginning. And that's, don't worry about that. You'll get then get one person, then you'll get two, and then it'll go four, and then it'll go 10, and then all of a sudden you'll see this growth. Uh, and I want people to, to understand that this isn't like an overnight, you're going to be the next Oprah. Possibly. You might, but uh, quite possibly you may not be so, but don't give up. Uh, really continue to put out that content, refine it. What I do is I watch every, I still watch my Facebook lives after I do them because I want to know how many times I did something that's irritating or annoying or how many times I looked down at the screen instead of looked at the camera so that I'm looking at you and looking at our guests. Um, and so I want to know all those things. So make sure and do that too. Um, uh, how do you feel about that? Have you seen a, a similar growth that it doesn't start off really fast and people need to be patient and, and continue to, to, to work hard? hundred percent. I mean, consistency is king. They say content's king, but consistency is king. And we've mm -hmm. experienced that, you know, so much 
Um, and I've just kept my head down. You know, I'm a super, I was a competitive athlete. I was a triathlete for 10 years and competed all over the world. So I'm like very goal driven and oriented. And I'm like, ah, oh, we need this many channels. And, and so you kind of forget what you are creating in the moment. And that consistency mm -hmm. is what will get you there. Um, but, you know, even us just talking and we were saying, yeah, I guess the actual Binge Networks TV has only been with that name about six months and we've accomplished great things since then. But it's because we, you know, all day long I have to put my head down. I do live shows every day, um, constantly do the things that are going to eventually bring those millions of viewers and millions of channels and, you know, all of those things. So I think that's a really important point. And, and just knowing that people you know, one of the, it's like a compliment I love, but also it's a little bit of like a, uh, people when they say like, oh my gosh, you've grown so much. Like they remember back to the early days and you're like, I guess that's a compliment, but it really is, you know, people expect that and they want to see your evolution and they want to see um, what you're creating. So just keep putting it out there and be authentic and be consistent. And eventually all of a sudden you're the next big thing. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so, Hanny, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that. I'm going <laughs> to record it and listen to it every day. So, Hanny, um, uh, is there anything that we should know about uh, Repurpose.io or the, the marriage between Binge and, uh, and um, uh, Repurpose that we should uh, know about before we split the scene? Um, basically, I think we kind of touched on it, but I'll just recap to make sure there's no confusion. So right now, if you go sign up today, if you have a Binge channel, you have a Repurpose account, you can take your Facebook Live and have it show up to your Dropbox. So Repurpose will take care of that for you. And then you just gotta do one more step. You just take that Dropbox file and upload it to your Binge channel and boom, it's gonna go up to the 50 different television networks. So there's one manual step, um, but there's no downloading. There's only one upload you gotta do. Um, so, but what we're working on, we actually had a call this morning, literally this morning, and we were um, figuring out how to make that make that one step go away, so you can literally go Facebook Live, repurpose. We'll send it to your binge channel for you. So that's something we're working towards. Um, I hate giving dates because I'm always wrong, but you know, the next <laughs> near term, few months, month to two to three to I don't know. Yeah, soon. So I guess. say quarter. I say in the next quarter. <laughs> it's for sure, possible, next quarter. It will absolutely be available in the exactly. next Exactly. So we're trying hard. And that's because we believe in binge and we have, we've met very recently, but it just, the software just makes so much sense together in terms of 100%. automation. And I mean, it, it, yeah. And we've even integrated in when people come on with a channel, they get their welcome email. The second email they get is the introduction to repurpose. Like we right. integrated it so seamlessly for people <laughs> so that wow. if you are a podcaster, you are a Facebook live person, you are a YouTuber, um, it's just right there for you. So yeah, it's, it's, um, oh, that's great. it's perfect. Uh, it's the perfect marriage. <laughs> one thing, one thing that Hanny reminded me of is that some people may be thinking, well, if I do a lot of Facebook lives and maybe not all of those, I want to be on my channel when it does, uh, uh connect. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but they, you did a great thing. You use hashtags, uh, that will tell repurpose.io which ones you want to go where, right? Yes. How does that, how does that work really quick? That's really simple. You can set up a, we call it a filter, like a hashtag filter. So when you can tell the soft repurpose, when I see this hashtag, only send these videos to my bench channel or vice versa. You can say, when I see, when I don't see this, when I see this hashtag, don't send this video. So you can design your own systems in place and just put a small little, uh, we call a filter, little setting in your repurpose that will tell repurpose to send that to bench or not send that, uh, which is cool or to Dropbox. For right. now, so is, yeah, um, so that's uh, that's been a incredible. highly requested feature, and that's been people love it because you know sometimes you go live and it's personal, you don't want yeah, or, or you don't it's not good quality for a show, so you don't want that to go to your binge net binge channel. So definitely that, take advantage of the it's in the workflow settings and repurpose, super easy to use. Yeah, it's a great it's a great thing because I can see on my uh, dog training uh, uh, page, Falco Canine Academy, that. Um, Sometimes I go on and just want to talk about one of our products that we have available, one of our online products or something like that. That's really not a bin, that would not be a binge show. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the one that I have, uh, the, the dog killed a cat and now the dog is, uh, you know, being uh, set for euthanasia. Actually, it's been in prison for two years because it killed a cat, which dogs do. It's the craziest thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's one of the uh, one of the episodes on the show that's up on binge. Uh, and so that, that would be one that I would want. So I would just simply start to bring it down or it, just with the title. <laughs> Brought a down down to the show. I see Bonnie's face like what? Yeah. What happened? 
<laughs> yeah, it's the craziest thing. So anyway, um, but using that hashtag is a great, it's, it's amazing that, that you could just do that. That's something so simple uh, in creating your, is it in the description or the title? Um, oh, wait, let's get, I always trip over this. I believe it's a description. <laughs> I don't remember to be 100% honest. So. The directions in uh, uh, repurpose.io will tell you which one. Right? Yeah, the, the quick start guide that details yeah, that for you. But I, I'm pretty sure it's description. But. Okay. <laughs> That's like put it there. All right. Uh, Bonnie, is there anything that I missed in regard to what people need to know about Binge? No, I think that, you know, just for those of you watching, give us a try. Like I said, we don't have an obligation. Um, it's a very, you know, low setup fee and monthly fee to get involved with Binge. And really just experience what this whole new market has for you, the connected device in the OTT industry. It's hot. Um, it's now. And we're always looking for great content creators. So come awesome. and join us. You'll love Laura as well. And, um, yeah, just get on. And head on over to BingeNetworks.tv. You can see thousands of shows over there. And it's a really great platform. Yep, I put it for, oh, <laughs> this keeps going away. We're back at the beach. I put it first. So this, <laughs> this row and maybe the second row are the only ones that I go to, right? So um, it's kind of like on your phone. You have the people that you call all the time, put them in, the, in your favorites. Mm -hmm. So this already has been one of my favorites. So, um, and that's, that's one of the things too. Maybe tell your audience, hey, put, uh, put our, uh, the binge app up on your favorites. That way, which is the top row, I would say that's the, the way to go. And that way you always see it. And you go, oh yeah, let's see what's on binge tonight. Or let's see if, uh, Andy, if, uh, if Andy uploaded a new uh, episode. Or Andy uploaded a new episode on how to use binge properly on the, on the channel that we're going to create. Oh yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we are definitely creating that. I'll be I just got to weasel that in. I had to do it on a live show so I could put some pressure on you to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. And the other thing, we do incentivize our content creators for um, their recent uploads. So you'll see on the Apple TV, you'll see on BingeNetworks.tv at the very bottom, you see recent uploads. And those are the people that uploaded their shows today. So um, that's a really cool feature. So you can keep it current. Because I know sometimes we feel like, you know, you upload a video and you're like, does it matter? Does anyone see it? Um, but, you know, as the platforms are growing and more and more eyeballs, are coming that becomes more and more powerful real estate and I know for me that's where I gravitate I was like oh who uploaded today and just as I'm working I have been playing in the background and I'm listening to everyone's shows I'll actually you know I'll go back and watch this show I um, watch all of the shows that I can that come onto the platform so and I know others do too so it's really you know we've integrated everything in that's current um, we also have all the shareability we have the app on the in iOS and Android, you can go to the App Store and download Binge Networks, two words, Binge Space Networks. Um, and we even have a really cool feature where you can send a five second clip. So if um, Hani said something that's so important about how to download something or upload something, you can send that little five second clip or 10 second clip to your friend. And then directly on our platform, you can share to Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, you can give five stars, you can comment like a blog. We built in everything that is um, going to help people get more and more exposure. Awesome. Nice. This is great. This is one of my favorite shows so far. <laughs> I, I, actually, I, I said that yesterday to uh, Tracy Enos, who uh, is a, uh, a LinkedIn, and said, wow, this is, you're one of my favorite guests. And I said, don't worry, tomorrow when I have uh, Hani and Bonnie on, they're going to be my favorite guests. <laughs> Uh, but uh, actually, I can say that I think this is one of my favorite because this is my favorite topic is yeah. TV shows, repurposing video, uh, how to get an audience. You've covered uh, just about everything. And I think quite possibly we need to come back on again and talk a, a little bit more about stuff, uh, a little bit Done. more detail on creating shows and that kind of stuff. I think that yeah. would be great. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and it, maybe a little bit more of your experience about the shows that you created and were uh, a star of so and how people can do the same thing. So that'd be awesome. So great. I really appreciate your time and that you took today. I know both of you are really, really busy. But to bring you on together is, it was perfect. A perfect marriage again. <laughs> 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 All right. Hani, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me here. And great to see you guys again. All right. Nice Bye. to see you. Bonnie, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And both of you stick around because I'm going to end it and I'll still be with you.